Hi, I'm Lisa from Active Domestics and cleaning the stairwell is one of those jobs that is easily gets overlooked um, or put into the too hard basket. But today I'm going to show you how I clean my stairwell using this flat mop. So using the flat mop makes the job a lot quicker, a lot safer, and I can reach, definitely reach most of the parts with it. There was a couple of areas right up the top that I couldn't reach with the mop, but that's okay. My safety is way more important than cleaning that little area. You gotta remember though, people often hurt themselves when they're cleaning through slips, trips, and falls, and the stairwell is the perfect place to hurt yourself, really, it's got it all. So you gotta do it really carefully. So I hope you get a few good tips out of this, and thank you very much for watching. Welcome to our stairwell. It's a fairly standard looking stairwell and the dust is in all the usual places and marks on the walls as would be typical in most stairwells that are heavily used. So I started the job with this dusting broom and I was able to get at most of the sort of insect issues with that dusting broom. But as you can see, there was a spot here that I was not able to reach. It was just too high. So I decided to um, use some, some gaff tape and tape two poles together so I could reach this high spot and at least give it a dusting. But as you can see, whoop, I wasn't that successful. But did that stop me? Oh no, I persisted and I just realized I needed a little bit more tape to hold that end up and that gave me the ability to give these areas a good sweeping and dusting and that's going to be the best that I'm going to do for this particularly high spot in the stairwell. I did, however, manage to get rid of the insect issue that was bothering me up there on that ceiling and was able to give this piece of artwork a little bit of a dusting as well, um, which was good because I knew I couldn't take it down. It was too hard to put it up in the first place. So onwards and upwards onto the vacuuming stage to get all that dust that I've just broomed down. And I did that carefully, paid attention to detail and really got to the edges when I vacuumed. Now folks, we are heading into the exciting phase. There's the other part of my messy house. Um, so time to do some wiping. And I'm actually starting here by wiping the, um, the handrails. Um, I was itching to do that because I knew that they were really dirty and it had been a wee while since I had wiped them. You saw there that I actually folded my cloth in quarters or halves and that way I can turn my cloth over onto a cleaner spot as I'm cleaning and wiping things over. Um, the spray that I'm using, it's just a little bit of Castile soap and water, so just a homemade cleaning product. And in the bucket, I've just got some dishwashing detergent and warm water. So I really went over that several times because I wanted to give it a really good wipe. When I clean things like this, I know it's going to be a while before I clean them again, so I want to do the job really, really thoroughly and um, really pay attention to detail. And of course, like any cleaning that I do, I do the cleaning stage where I use a bit of product and then I rinse my cloth out thoroughly and wipe everything over again for a rinsing um, clean. I realized that I need to get the um, vacuum cleaner back out again and I attached the little duster attachment onto the end of the long pole so that I could get rid of all the dust that was on the edges. It's a lot quicker to do that with the vacuum cleaner than it is to wipe things because if I just wiped everything with my cloth I would have to spend a lot longer rinsing my cloth and that would take time. Alternatively, of course, you would have multiple cleaning cloths that you would be using and that would be far more strategic than using the one cloth and rinsing again and again. And it would mean that you won't have any chance of wiping around dirt by using a dirty cloth. So now it is time to bring out the flat mop. And I've got the microfiber head rinsing in the bucket of warm water and detergent. And you can see I didn't just squeeze the head out by twisting it, I rolled it. In this particular area, there was quite a few 
hand marks or marks in general along the wall. So that's why I applied some of that homemade cleaning product onto the walls because I knew it would just need a little bit of an extra boost. Now see, when I'm using the flat mop, I always keep my left hand on the end of the pole. I'm right-handed, so I mean, I can use it in either hand, but always one hand kept at the end of the pole is really important. And that way I'm never gonna bang into the wall there. Now I want you to watch me as I safely navigate my way through cleaning the stairwell with the flat mop. Of course, it's far safer to use the flat mop for something like this than a cloth and ladders and things like that because I've got the extension pole on this mop. And you can watch as I am actually adjust the extension pole right there so that I can do things safely. I'm not at risk of banging um, into the other side of the wall. My hand is always on the end of that mop pole, so it will always alert me if I'm going to bang into a wall. I safely go down the stairs and I just do it slowly, one section at a time. I go over this multiple times because like I said, if I'm going to clean something, I'm going to clean it really thoroughly and to the best of my ability. And it was quite dirty, so I need to rinse out my cloth multiple times and um, um, and keep going. Not my cloth, my microfiber head, I should say. See there, I'm rolling it, not twisting it as I'm getting rid of the excess water. So it takes a bit of time, and of course, I just want to do things carefully because I do not want to fall down these stairs or have a cleaning accident. At that time, you just saw me put the um, Castile soap directly onto the microfiber head just to give me a little bit more cleaning power as I go through each little section. And you can see how awesome that is for actually reaching all those high spots. As I said, there was just, I didn't bother cleaning right above that where I couldn't reach because I'd already dusted it with that um, dusting broom and, and that was good enough. It's not actually dirty or obviously dirty. Um, this was the first time I'd given this stairwell a really thorough clean since I'd painted it a couple of years ago. Um, uh, other than that, I've just spot cleaned different areas. Um, so it was really good to give it a really thorough clean. And definitely by the looks of the water at the end of this cleaning job, you could see I'd gotten rid of a lot of dirt. In real time though, this job took me the best part of an hour. But you've got to remember, it takes a little bit longer when you're filming because I'm adjusting cameras, trying to get better lighting, things like that. Now before I ended this part of the cleaning stage, I just double checked everything and I noticed a spot up there, particularly where there was um, near the light, the light is right just there and so there was um, multiple insect areas that I just needed to get a little bit more detailed about the cleaning. Right, everything's had a good clean and now it's time to clean the microfiber head and get some fresh warm water and go over everything once more for the rinsing stage. As I said, it's going to be um, probably some time before I do this job as thoroughly again, so I really want to make sure I do things carefully and thoroughly. Now see how I'm just slowly coming down those stairs always making sure I've got a good footing. Now, this flat mop was excellent at getting in those areas that were really tight in between the handrail and the wall. And it was so good because there was actually quite a few marks in those spots. So it really enabled me to get into um, those spots. So everything is just getting um, going over again. And once again, continually adjusting my um, telescopic pole in order to be at a safe length for whatever I need it at the time. That's why you're able to adjust it so that you can keep safe. Now onto the final part of the clean where I'm just giving the stairs a really thorough mop. And that is the end of this thorough clean of our stairwell. So I'm really getting into the bits underneath the um, stairs and the wall of the stairs. So get all the edges 
do it carefully. And that, my friends, is what you call a job well done. Happy cleaning.